Here are 25 most embarrassing moments caught on TV. Before we continue, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications and you'll get 10 years of good luck. Try it, it works. All right, let's begin. During the auditions of American Idol, the interviewer went over to congratulate a blind participant for being selected, but there's one small problem. Here it goes, I'm pumped. <laughs> As you should be. Well, I'm giving you a high five. Congratulations, there it is. After securing gold, Paralympic archer Stutzman got an awkward reception during the medal ceremony. The Portuguese Navy presented an unmanned drone with new technology that will help at sea and on land. However, the demonstration did not go as planned. A passerby yelled something inappropriate for the viewers at home to have a chuckle about. Uh, the stock index futures continue to be on the positive side, so everything kind of bouncing back from yesterday. Dow Jones futures search for a trade up 63 points. Uh, the S&P. This news channel played a different video against the news the anchor was reading, creating an embarrassing moment. Great news regarding Bill's tight end, Kevin Everett. He moved his arms and legs today, and doctors now believe. That that's the wrong video, by the way. That is not the right video. This clip was broadcast live on TV news. Seems like something right out of a comedy sketch. What first started as a normal interview turned into something awkward and funny when the man being interviewed thought it was a good idea to rip off his shirt on live TV. Let me tell you my name. Uh, I'm confused because, uh, you know, like we're supposed to believe in the ministry, right? I'm gonna die. How can you die when you're dead? <sighs> I'm not gonna raise my voice. The famous clip of Beyonce letting a fan from the crowd sing turned into something hilarious. This video is proof of the importance of applying punctuation in a teleprompter. Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. Dana is off tonight. He was murdered and then set on fire while celebrating his birthday. One quick way to lose your news anchoring job is to do this on live TV news. Your news leader in high definition. Gay fucking shit. Good evening, I'm Van Tu. You may Good have day. seen our newest reporter, AJ, on NB. See North Dakota News, and he'll be joining the weekend news team as my co-anchor. Tell us a little bit about yourself, AJ. Um, thanks, man. I'm very excited. I In this hilarious interview, a person trying to buy a lottery ticket was asked what he would do if he managed to win. The answer he gave was very inappropriate, but at least he was honest. Can I ask you, if you won all the money, what would you do with it? Bunch of hookers and cocaine. Oh, okay, that's not good. <laughs> we were hoping for a different answer. That's probably not the answer that we're looking for. This news anchor forgot to remove the hanger in his suit. How embarrassing. The chill is letting up, but the chill is not completely gone. No. Like, the chill, I'm sorry. And the, and the no, chill has got no. a kink in your neck, huh? You got a... Uh, <laughs> I got never <laughs> mind, forget it, I just... I, I, I thought it was just the tight button, but never mind. Let's, can we just go to the weather? Guy Goma had gone to BBC that day for a possible job interview, but was mistaken for an intern expert by the host. And they interviewed him live on air. Props to the guy. He went along with it, but unfortunately, they did not give him a job. So what does this all mean for the industry and the growth of music online? Well, Guy Cuny is the editor of the technology website uh, News Wireless. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning. With regards to uh, the cost that's in, in, involved, um, do you think uh, now more people will be downloading online? Uh, actually, if you can go everywhere, you're going you're gonna to see a lot of people downloading uh, to the internet uh, and the website, uh, everything they want. It's much better for the development and uh, to improve people what uh, they want and uh, to get uh, on the easy way and so fast everything they're looking for. 
When something mildly inappropriate was said during this news segment by one of the hosts, one of them took it way off context and could not contain his laughter for moments on. But they started wearing your clothes! That's cute. <laughs> Pussy, get out of my pants! <laughs> There you go. There you go. Coming up, the obesity warning to parents. We're going to speak to Australia's top doctor, Lisa. And, Deb, we meet the family desperately trying to bring their pooch back. First, she hesitated to eat the dish. And as soon as she ate it, the first thing she said was something that could be taken out of context. And by their reaction, it was. I know what it would do. No, big one. I'm not eating a big one. Come on, oh, you God. shut your eyes and do it. <laughs> See, this is lovely. Don't look at it. Go. When you... Once it's in, I love it. But nice, you <laughs> see? <laughs> hey, welcome back uh, uh, to this morning. Uh... Rick Perry forgot the Department of Energy during the presidential debate, which blew his shot at a Republican nomination for president. And surprisingly, five years later, he became the United States Secretary of Energy under Trump. It's three agencies of government when I get there that are gone. Commerce, education, and the, um, uh, what's the third one there? Uh, EPA? EPA, there you go. No, okay. uh, Is EPA the one you were talking about? Or? No, sir. No, sir. We were talking about the, uh, the, uh, and let's see. I can't. The third, sorry. Oops. K-pop idol Eun Jin of the girl group DIA was dancing on stage when her bra fell off. An embarrassing on-air moment made awkward with this guy's reaction. Um, when my son was teething, he used to like to take the big fat rubber end of my vibrating toothbrush and put it in his mouth, on, okay. and he'd just kind of sit there like, oh yeah, that feels good, that hits the spot, my gums are itchy. Unfortunately, this news anchor was fired after being caught daydreaming for a split second on live TV. A bit harsh punishment for an honest mistake. Melanie Vukovic, ABC News, Mount Sylvia. Now to sport with Meredith Sheehan. They say that experts are still trying to decode what this beauty pageant contestant said in her speech. Okay. Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so. People out there in our nation don't have maps, and uh, I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere, like such as, and I believe that they should, uh, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. Um, or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries, so we will be able to build up our future for our children. Thank you very much, South Carolina. I guess this woman showed a little more skin than what she had intended to in this Brazilian TV show. During the news segment regarding a woman who had just recovered from a lightning strike, the video glitched out at a crucial moment. Thankfully, CPR from her mom revived her heart, but she laid in a coma for two weeks, and then she defied all odds and woke up. I, 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 I should buy well, obviously, there was a problem with that tape. She doesn't really sound like that. She doesn't remember the accident, but the evidence is clear. This friendly game turned into an 18 plus show with a questionable sketch. Give me one. Right, give me one. A cannon. A cannon. I don't know. Oh, what do you do? What do you do? Oh, no, there's no racing is the thing. Oh, let's <laughs> a spider on the camera lens during a weather report scares the news anchor out of her wits. Still today, though, significant rainfall on the way and for our area. So let's. Oh my gosh, that was creepy. Oh, I just don't like that. Okay, I gotta move. <laughs> Nick Chavez slips and falls on live TV while trying to be a little cheeky. 
I am telling you, this hairspray is amazing. Now, do you love my plump and thick? I absolutely, I keep like eight cans at a time. Oh, together. girl, let me give you a can. <laughs> that is good. Look, that uh, one's got to go. <laughs> I fell on my booty. Thank you. Oh, I got oh, okay. oh, my God. And you know what, Jeep? I scanned myself again. Now you know what a real clown I am. In a Brazilian talk show, controversial model Andresa Uroc decided to do this as a form of protest to corrupt politicians. In this cringy moment, Maria Menuos tried to show off her tight abs by letting Conan punch it. So I was like, hmm, I don't want people throwing rocks at me. How about I just have people punch me? I'm already tight and ready. You really did a good job punching Maria Menounos. There. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, that's right. That's like a Can't flying pan. Did you see I don't... that bounce? See that yeah. bounce? Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to always be in the loop. We'll see you in the next one.